exciting news for everyone today. Today is the day. As we're doing this and preparing together, I want you to know that the opportunity that exists today is the beginning of something that is absolutely wonderful. There are times that are changing us is basically what happens or what I'm trying to tell you. I have very much been interested in astrology lately and I'm not sure if you all pay any attention to astrology or the astrological changes. But even if you're not into astrology, maybe you're into numerology, maybe you just have a sense that as you look at things going on in the world, that things are changing. And we can certainly all see that this is happening and happening at a rapid pace. When you do look at the astrology and the numerology of especially today, which is the 22nd of February, 22, we know that things are changing and not only are things changing, more of what I'm wanting to speak to you about today is that we are all changing. We know that there are things that we have as we get to a point in our lives where we've accomplished quite a bit, that we have things that we still feel that we haven't accomplished. We have things that we still have as hopes and dreams. It's rare that there's anyone that really has been able to fulfill all of their hopes and dreams. Some of us are even at a point where we have not even been able to acknowledge our hopes and dreams. The fact that we grow up within certain societies, within certain families, there are rules, there are conventions that normally affect us, that guide us in the things that we do, and also provide for us a framework of how we live. We know that sometimes these rules become outdated, whether by society or even in our own lives. And many times people get to the point where they realize that, oh, yeah, that's what I was taught when I was growing up, or that's how I felt or I thought I needed to be. But I realized that that wasn't my wish. That was not my desire. That was something that was put upon me by society, by my family, by the things that were presented to me as the right way, as the way to be as the way to exist, the way to live. So we know that as we get older, there are things that we realize don't fit us any longer. Now is the opportune moment. Today is the beginning. This has been going on for quite a while, but today is an especial or a, a special point within time, within humanity. And today we all have the option to begin focusing if we haven't been before. I know I have, and many pe people have been focusing because there have been certain things going on within society globally on a grand scale that have made changes in our lives that have given us more time to consider what we want, what we need, and where we're going. The fact that we've had the opportunity to consider these things is very special. We've been able to take a pause. We've been able to look not only around, but within ourselves to be able to understand what it is we need, more than what it is we need, who we are. And not only who we are, but who we want to be. Who do we want to be? What do we want to be doing? What is it that we are looking to contribute to this world? Because Many of us have contributed quite a, bit, quite a bit before within the things we do for our families, for our profession, for people that we provide care for, for people that we interact with, for this world. We're all here, we're all alive, and we're all contributing. That is something that is difficult not to do, is contribute. But are you satisfied? with what you've contributed. Do you feel that you have more to give? Do you feel that there's an opportunity for you to actually provide more than you thought you could? 
because now you've rethought what you've been doing with your life. Now you've come to the understanding that the way that maybe you were told things are or things should be don't fit your actual, your actual, I would say, desire with the way you live in this world. I would suggest that you start today, if you haven't started already, which I know I'm sure some people have, if you have not started already, if you begin looking at the things that have driven you in your life, the things that you believe, the things that you maybe even doubted within your life up till now, and you focus on understanding yourself and understanding where you fit in with those things. What do they mean to you now? Is it the same? Is the meaning the same for you? Or is it something else? Is there something else that you feel that you need? Is there something else that you feel that you should be doing? Now is the time to consider those things for ourselves, especially as we get to the point in our lives where we are, if you had you know, children, you have raise them. If you have a profession, you've reached a certain or attained a certain level of um, expertise within your profession. You have provided, cared for, taught, and, you know, assisted and benefited many people in this world, including yourself, including your family. But now what about you? What about the things that you want to make sure you get done the things that you want to experience in life. What about those things? What about your true desire? What about the things you always wanted to explore? Now's the time. Today's the perfect day to start. Today is the day. Today is the day. Today is the day that it would benefit you to sit down and get a book, a fresh book, a fresh journal, or a calendar, and begin going through the things that you are interested in, the things that you would like to explore. It will also, now just warning, bring up for you things that maybe are not as pleasant, memories from the past, things that you realize maybe have held you back, issues that you've had previously, and dare I say traumas. But these, this is all part of the process. It's important that we make sure that we're fulfilled in our lives, that we are ensure that we are actually doing what we desire. We're actually living the life that we're meant to live. Many of us feel we have a purpose. God's purpose is there for us. There are things that we haven't explored or we didn't explore for many years. I know myself personally, because you're worried about what you were taught, what people will think and otherwise. Well, today I entreat you to sit down and take out that pen or pencil and that paper, or if you want to do it electronically, whichever way, and make a list of those things that you want to explore. Make a list of those things that you've always questioned that you'd like to explore those further and see if there's anything further to that, if there's anything that is really not really fitting or meeting your needs any longer. Is there a belief is there a situation? Is there anything that you can remove and anything that you can explore that will satisfy that need that you have? A lot of times when we release things from our lives, we note that we receive inspiration to new things, new ideas, new ways of being that suit us better. I know that many times also what we're doing for our profession, what we're doing in our lives to make money, to make ends meet, is not exactly what it is that we desire. Or maybe we did desired it before, but it just doesn't make our hearts sing any longer. Well, now is the time. Start looking at something else. Start exploring something else you wanted. Start exploring something else you were always interested in that you wanted to know how to get it done. Do you want to learn something new? Do you want to start your own business? What is it that you dearly always wanted to do and want to do in your life? Now's the time to do it. Sit down and make a plan. Ideas will come to you. Start listening to your intuition, to your higher self. 
have an understanding of yourself by at first, like I said, exploring what it is you want to do and what you've questioned in the past. This will give you a beginning and you will be able to take that to a different level because again, due to the energies that exist now and the changes in the world, we all have the opportunity to do and be more and to become the selves that we're supposed to be, that we were always supposed to be, to come to know ourselves, to come to know what we should be, what we want to be. And I ask you to do so today by starting with exploring what you want. Write it down. Think about it. Focus on it. This is what you want. And then start practicing, whether it's mindfulness, meditation, whether focusing on your dreams, but some way of listening to your intuition, your guides, and they will help to show you the way to get to you to where you want to be, to provide for you what you need, whether it is the fact that you felt that you needed a new profession or you, you're not quite interested as you were in what you're doing. This is the way for you to find out how you're going to move ahead, how you're going to continue to provide for yourself and your family. Because you know what? The guidance will come to you. The guidance will come to you about what you need to do. The guidance will come to you about where you will get the assistance. The guidance will come to you about what you need to learn because, you know, these are things that we all know. We know them in ourselves deeply, and we've known them for many years. A lot of us have allowed people to drown out what we think, what we feel, what we desire, what we want for ourselves, for our lives. We've allowed other people to give us our guidance, our direction, and maybe not even other people, but our responsibilities or the things that we felt we could not meet the responsibility for by doing anything else. We've allowed these things to make us focus on only the things we see in front of us, not remembering the things from before that we've dreamt, not remembering our hopes, not remembering what we really desire. So now is the time, and I ask you today to begin making notes about what it is you really want and thinking through those things. And I'll be back and we will discuss further what it is that you can do with those notes. Like I said, if you have a special book, fine. If not, just start. Start. That's the next thing. How many years of holding off? Because you might even have a plan and you know exactly what it is. But no, I don't have the perfect this. And I don't have the perfect that and I need to wait and save up until I can buy whatever or I can go wherever or I can watch something, something else that I don't have or maybe thinking you don't have what you need personally. But no, there's no need to wait. Today is the day, as I said. Start now. We'll meet again. And we will talk about going forward from this. I thank you for your time. I thank you for your consideration of the information. And please put in comment for me to let me know how you're doing, what you're doing, and if there's any other information that you would like to consider, because I will be returning with further information about how this writing things down, which is going to be journaling, how this journaling is going to assist you along the way. Again, please start today. Even if you have a post-it note, if you have a little scrap piece of paper, if you have a napkin, whatever you have, wherever you have it, please start today with your journey because this is going to make a big difference in your life and the life of everyone around you and everybody that you come in contact with in any way. Because we all have a purpose under the sun. And I want you to find your purpose. And I'm doing this because I'm looking to find 
or are moving towards my purpose. And this is part of my purpose. So again, let me know how it's going. And thank you again for your time. Bye-bye.